part two of um, accepting your scars. So, back. Yeah, I know me, man. I, uh, I'm going to on. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> so, um, uh, the first part, uh, I was in the kitchen earlier. I, I finished that off with um, explaining how I got to that, to the realization that um, although I may be past things, I still, I have developed the defense mechanism. I've developed, um, and you know, I've developed, see, I don't want to say, I, because I don't resent the situation. I don't this, I don't that. I, I've accepted the situation. I've accepted what I've been through and I've accepted um, all the residuals that came with that. And I'm looking forward in life. I'm not looking back. Well, what I didn't accept was that, yeah, this happened to me, so now this caused me to view things this way. This caused me to put up a wall of defense. This caused me to be triggered by the word anything ending in ship <laughs> and love and anything along those lines. It's caused me to look at it and be like, like no like don't bring that towards me like I don't want to hear that take that somewhere else go find somebody else go love somebody else I don't want to hear that and um, you know it, 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 it and you know like I said I realized that you know prior to another situation occurring and just trying to navigate through that while still having those other feelings and stuff along those lines. So, <clears throat> you know, accepting your scars comes with a lot. Accepting the things that's happened to you, it can be a very difficult feat, you know what I mean? And But the thing is, your scars are not going to go anywhere. They are a part of you now. They're, they're not going to fade over time. You know, they, they may get a little smaller. You know, you gain some weight, lose some weight, whatever. You know, they may get a little smaller. Um, the actual, like, how the wound was, how big it was, you know, it shrinks after a while. So, yeah, you know, they'll... So, I should take that back. Yeah, the, the scars can fade a, a tad bit, but they'll always be there. <clears throat> they'll always be there to remind you, hey, remember that time such and such did that to you? Hey, remember that time you tripped and busted your head because you wasn't listening? Hey, remember that time, you know, you look down and you see that big old knot that won't ever go away in your thigh? Hey, remember that time they told you to sit down and you didn't and got popped in your leg and that's there now? Hey, you know, so I don't, like I said earlier, I don't resent my scars. I don't wish them to go away, you know. There were, there were times that I was like, why the hell is this happening to me? But I'm just a firm believer in just the things that do happen to you. It's for you to share your experience to help the next person. Because although the next person may not particularly go through exactly what I went through, what I've gone through, what I've overcome, and what I'm what I now have to navigate forward in learning how to open up to the idea again of actually being with another person. You know, that's all the things that I'm going through and I and I and I and I and I share this because I know others may have gone through that are going through the first part of it the second part of it or others may be where I am where it's like you just got that wall up now when it comes to that aspect of things you know and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that but what I will say is don't is accept it on your own terms accept it in your own time you know don't let anybody rush you. Don't let anybody make you feel like you have to, you're obligated to. Don't. 
if how you're feeling is how you're feeling at that particular time, then feel it. Because if you push it to the side, if you brush it away, if you sit there and you try to act all tough and like, nah, nothing, whatever, and I'm good and this and that, man, that's that, that's going to affect you later, man. And it's going to affect you when you do want to be with somebody or you do want to develop a friendship or a business partner or whatever. It's going to affect you. So feel what you feel. Feel angry. Feel mad. Feel sad. Feel guarded. Feel it. Realize it. Accept it. And from there, navigate how to overcome that, you know, in due time. Everything is on God's time. So do I think one day, one day, I'll feel, you know, those things again. I'll feel love again. I'll feel uh, a yearn. For companionship Because you know sometimes I do want Companionship but I wake up the next morning And that want is gone <laughs> uh, But you know It's it, that 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 yearn to, to build with somebody again That yearn is gone I don't want to build with anybody I want to build on my own I want the world to be mine And that's just where I am In life right now And I don't apologize about it I don't say that as if I'm wrong for feeling that way. That's where I am. I'm accepting my scars. And I'm learning that I need to <clears throat> understand where I am and bring it to God. And in due time, you know, the wall will start to come down a bit. But you got to accept your scars. You got to accept that, you know, you was hey, you was hurt and that caused you to X, Y, and Z. That's what I mean when I say accept your scars, you know, because this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have residual effects on you. So trust me, I get it. I know where people are. You, you, could be over, you could be over that guy, that girl, that, that friend, that business, that, that did you dirty and all of that stuff from 20 years ago. But the residuals are still there and you're still, you're still affected by it. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I think, I, I, I think I've, I've gotten out what I needed to get out. Yeah. So, you know, people, it's okay. It's okay. Don't let anybody make you feel like you're not healing fast enough. You're not, um, you're not accepting things quick enough oh that person's doing this this and that they've moved on or whatever like that and you're looking at that don't worry about none of that don't worry about none of that that business is booming now and yours and you're still trying to get up don't worry about none of that you move on your own accord and you move at your own pace because the second you try to move at somebody else's pace you the one that's going to end up falling they're going to keep moving at their pace their pace is what's good for them and they're gonna keep that pace and huh, 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 and be going. The second you try to move faster, the second you try to keep up on their pace, and you trip and fall and hurt yourself or whatever, now it's gonna take you even longer. Do not relapse in the resentment. Allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to understand. Allow yourself to hurt. Allow yourself to go through all the emotions. Go to Disclaimer, this is for those that have, you know, that believe. Go to God. Pray. 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 He'll give you strength. He'll, he'll enlighten you. He'll guide you. He'll show you the way. Go to God. Go to the people you trust. Have your elders, have your concierges. Accept your scars, you know? Accept them, they're a part of you now. They'll always be a part of you. And keep it moving, all right? I'm gonna, just a quick side note. Um, 
I just want to give a shout out to people that do check my vids, uh, that comment, that like, that uh, that talk about it with others that I may never even know about. You know, that that just say, hey, you know, this guy. He says, you know, he tries to talk some sense and this and that, or at least he, he tries to. He doesn't make sense, you know. I mean, because I mean, you know, you you could agree or disagree with um, the messages that I convey, or you know, my perception of things, and then that's fine. You know, it's nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't claim to know it all. I don't claim to be the answer. You know, I I go through things. And I interpret how I go through things through my eyes. I get advice from those that I, I trust. And I go to God and I trust my spirit to guide me, you know, down the right path as far as how I should be feeling. And uh, how I need to, you know, be accepting things and moving forward. So, you know, and, but that's, that's within my life. You know, I'm growing in wisdom within myself. But I'll say this and I'll, I'll end this on that note I'll say this you can never buy experience experience can't be bought so I'll never say that I will take back anything that I've been through I'll never say that I wish I had gone through it because you can never ever buy the things that you've been through because any of the things that I've been through is, is, is pushing me towards who I am at this very moment and you know depending on who's uh Depending on who's seeing me right now or who's uh, in my presence or who's in my circle. I could be a terrible version of myself or I could be the best version of myself. But at this very moment, to me, I'm trying to be a better version of me. So, because that's who it's all about. You know, it's, it, it's about me trying to grow. I'm not growing for you. I'm not growing for them. I'm growing for me. Oh, I just thought about James Bond. Y'all remember Goldeneye? For England, James. For me, you know. Uh, no, for for uh, for others, Breeze. No, for me. <laughs> but um, what's it called? Uh, this video, I'm just gonna keep on YouTube. I'm not gonna share this anywhere. I'm not gonna put it on Facebook. I'm not gonna put it on put a note on Instagram or anything like that. This is for those that uh, follow me, just to kind of see where my head is at. And stuff like that. And um, like I said, shout out to y'all. I appreciate it. Let me take that back. I may put it up just because, or I may like take a clip of it or something like that and share it somewhere. Just because sometimes people do need people need to hear these things. They do. But if I don't, you know, disregard. Much love. Thank y'all. Pray for me. I pray for y'all. Just trying, man. Just trying to be patient and. Um, you know, on another note, just being patient with life and um, trying not to uh, trying not to let nobody make me feel like I'm not doing enough. You know. All right. So I'm heading to work. God bless. Have a good one.